Uh, my name is Ty Jones, area rep for southeastern Montana with GenX. Uh, we're headed to Ekalaka, Montana, which is pretty remote in the southeast corner, right? Kind of where Wyoming and South Dakota and Montana meet. It's called Across W Ranch. Felony's wife, Brett and Kim Lesh, are the owners, and they've got four sons, uh, ranging in age from, I believe Riley, the oldest, is like 25 or so, and then Guy's the youngest at 12, so they all help out on the operation and doing the daily tasks that need to be done. We enjoy coming down here. It's quite an adventure. Agriculture is such a, uh, a close-knit family, especially in Montana and, and Wyoming, Dakotas, you know, in the West. You maybe don't know people personally, but you know of them from friends of friends or however it works. And, and uh, I think it's those relationships that really make a company like Gen X really survive. You know, we're out here to to try to help ranchers develop a better product in their cow herd and the calves they sell. And uh, if I was just going to be a used car salesman and uh, go there and, and make the sale, whatever it took to make it and then move on, you know, next year when I come back or two or three years from now, if, if the product didn't work for them and, I, and they felt like they got you know, suckered in on something, it doesn't take long for that to get around a, a small, tight-knit uh, industry. And so we at Gen X have always tried to uh, be there for the long haul. You know, we, we may not have the most extreme bulls in the industry from a number standpoint or the flashiest looking stuff, but I think in the end we try to bring genetics for these guys that, that will keep them in business long term. That they'll be proud to go out six, seven, eight years from now and look at a set of cows and be happy with what they've got rather than you know, the, the first calf crop looks great, and then after that you've got wrecks. And, and that's not what we want to do. We want to be here for, you know, the long term and, and uh, try to provide a product that helps them rather than steers them down the wrong road. Brett feeds out a fair amount of his own cattle, uh, some to finish, some just uh, to yearling weight and sends them on. But we talked about, you know, kind of where he was going and what he wanted to do, and uh, so we tried to find some bulls that would fit his criteria. And so he wants some cattle that will perform in the feedlot, but he also wants a functional cow uh, for his operation to, to graze these, you know, sometimes pretty good sized pastures in this part of the world. I've been with the company quite a while now, I think 18, 19 years. Uh, so I'm getting to be one of the old guys in the, in the outfit, but um, I, I really enjoyed cattle genetics and looking at good cattle and trying to make good cattle. I really enjoyed working with Gen X is the commitment to traits in cattle that there aren't necessarily numbers for at this point yet. Now, maybe they'll get numbers for them, but things like foot quality and leg structure, those are things that while you can't necessarily see it on paper that it affects you, it's a big issue, uh, especially the structure part. You know, cattle in my part of the world may have to travel, you know, many miles, I guess, I mean, to, to water and to grass and to whatnot. And so the cattle have to stand up from a structure standpoint. You know, there's nothing worse on a bottom line of a rancher to have a cow that goes into the herd and you put out all the expense to get her into, you know, the calf and to be a productive female in the, in the herd. And then at six years old, she's shot from a foot standpoint or, or whatever breaks down from hips or things. Uh, because, you know, your, your cow doesn't really start paying you back until about five years old and uh, so the more longevity we can have in these cattle the, the more profitable we'll be because you know if you can get a cow that into her double digits as far as age before she's out of the herd uh, you've got several years there that uh, she can be paying you money rather than you paying her money you know we've built up the trust to know that hey we're watching this stuff and we're not going to get you into a, a spot where we're bringing you genetics that that are, are not going to help you in those areas. So I, those are, are things that I think help us stand out. We can be one of those areas of, of information for people that, hey, you know, what does this number mean? Is it something I need to be looking at? And, and I and, and all the reps are fortunate that the company has done a lot of training for us in those areas so that we can stay current on the new stuff and, and what the numbers mean and where they fit into an operation. So. Uh, we feel like, and, and hopefully the, our customers feel like we're a resource they can turn to. You know, we're going to take a look at everything, not just one or two things for you. 
when you make a breeding decision, it's something that will impact you potentially for 10 years down the road. And so the less mistakes you can make or the less wrong directions you can go in, the further you'll be at the end of that 10 years. And, and so instead of just buying a bull that is gonna have a couple calf crops, you know, it, from the daughters and the things, it, it's a lasting impression on a cow herd. And uh, so it's, it's a big deal and, and guys are looking for the, the best solutions that they can find to uh, their breeding programs. Now with Timed AI, you know, like this program here, even though we're breeding for three days, um, you know, we can do a, a big group of say two or 300 in a day. They can get them hauled out um, in the afternoon out to pasture and have them where they want them rather than, you know, coming down here, setting up for a week and breeding three the first day and 10 the second day. And, you know, logistically, it just makes these big projects uh, a lot more attractive to guys because when, when a guy's got a lot of cattle, a lot of stuff going on, it just fits with their schedules a lot better. If we can go in, this is the day we're doing it, knock them out and then and go on. So it, it works really well for them. On most of my projects, especially, you know, one of this size, uh, I pretty much tell them, you know, you, you bring them to the back door of the barn and I'll take care of everything in front of that. Uh, yeah. Normally guys, you know, like to handle their own cattle and they know how, the, how to handle them and, and know how that their facilities work, then we can concentrate on what we do and what we do best and that's AI and cattle and, and getting them bred. So it works out, it's a good relationship, especially on this outfit. Uh, they're a cowboy crew and they, you know, do things horseback and, and uh, they've got the hands to do it and so we just crack the door and go to it. Hello and welcome to The American Rancher. I'm Pam Minnick. Today on the show we talk about Gen X, a company known across the industry that's providing producers with world-class animal genetics, progressive reproductive solutions, value-added products, and innovative service to members and customers. Stay tuned. You don't want to miss this episode of The American Rancher. trust relationship with our customers. We want them to know that we care about them, that our products work, and we'll stand behind them. To come back and purchase, to bid and buy their customer's cattle, they're very, very dedicated to a customer's product, and I think that creates a lot of longevity. 98, that's 63,000, thank you. The American Shorthorn Association is America's oldest beef breed association. Shorthorn cattle have been documented to produce high quality carcasses that outyield other British breeds. The added docility and maternal advantage of shorthorns make them an outstanding choice to add heterosis to your commercial cattle operation. Shorthorns truly are a breed focused on performance with purpose. For more information, visit our newly renovated website at shorthorn.org or call 816-599-7777. Welcome back to the American Rancher. With customizable genetic and reproductive service plans, Gen X meets the needs and goals of individual cattle producers. Here's the Gen X story. So today we're breeding in a two stall AI barn. Uh, we've got two of us actually arming the cattle. We got a guy in the back that's loading guns and thawing semen for us. Uh, the cowboy crew is of course, bringing them up through the, their setup, and so we're uh, just kind of one big happy family in this Tate Quarters barn, but a little humor gets us through before anybody gets too on each other's nerves. Right, Kyle? Right, that is correct. <laughs> AI barns work really nice for these projects, especially these bigger ones. It's basically dark up in front of this cow where she's seeing, and so they stand a lot nicer than trying to do them through a squeeze chute uh, or just out kind of in the open. And you can cycle through a lot of cattle in a, in a big hurry with two stalls and a good crew. We'll do about 270 heifers this morning. Um, you know, these projects a lot of times involve early mornings and you gotta have guys that wanna get out of bed in the morning and go to work. And, and we've certainly got that in these chute side service programs. And uh, 
the, the guy that we're working for, they were probably up before we were saddling horses and going at a pretty good clip and that allows this the operator to uh, load these heifers on a truck and haul them out to grass today and that way they've got time to do what they need to do and we've gotten in and got the job done and, and if we're not willing to put the time and effort in to you know, help them out and, and uh, do a good job for them then, then we're not worth our salt and, and so I think that's what, one of the things that helps us as a, as a company is uh, we try to work with the rancher and his schedule and, and uh, when he needs stuff done we got to get it done and, and that's the way it is because ranching's a time is money business and certainly uh, we're of the same opinion so it works out good combination. Uh, I feel like uh, my customers depend on me to, to be their eyes and ears a lot of times to uh, get the training that, that requires is required to uh, keep up on EPDs and information on this day and age and and also to see cattle and you know I've worked with Brett for four or five years now and so I, I know the kind of cattle he likes and he wants um, he's not afraid of a little extra frame than some guys um, he feeds a lot of his own cattle so he wants something with some growth to him uh, got some you know enough carcass merit to, to make it to the end and uh, so we've got a pretty good idea of, of what he's looking for and, and what he's, he's after so you know I'll give him a recommendation of you know these three or four or five bulls that I think will fit his program and with AI we can use a bull that's been tested and tried in lots of different programs and so the, the guesswork's taken out of him and and that helps when you're trying to make these difficult decisions that will impact your herd for a long time you know what the bull's going to do and, and where he's at and what he's you know capable of so that's another variability that can be taken out of the, uh, the mix when you're using an AI side. The biggest question I get as a rep is Hey, what do you know about this bull? Have you seen the cattle? Have you seen progeny? Uh, what can you tell me about them? And, and so, uh, one of the things that we try to do is, as a company is take our reps on tours and, and uh, see some different cattle in different parts of the country and maybe different ways of doing things that uh, there could help an operation in our area. And so, uh, we try to uh, be more than just a salesman. You know, we're, we're there to help them with their breeding decisions. I send out a lot of calendars to my guys saying, hey, this is the day you need to give this shot, or you got to start the MGA, or this is the day we're breeding, so that they can put it on their calendar. And uh, timing is essential in these protocols, and without that, uh, there's no use doing them. So if we can make it easier for them and their schedules and say, hey, this is when we're coming, this is what we need to do, it all works smooth. These EstroTech patches are a very inexpensive product. They're easy to apply and easy to use. Put them on at time of prostaglandin injection. Uh, it doesn't slow the process up at all. It's a heat detection aid. Uh, today's the day we're doing the green patch heifers, and uh, that way we know where they're going and, and the guy can keep them sorted. To, uh, tomorrow will be the, or yesterday, excuse me, was the pink patches, so it's a way that he's been able to keep those cattle separate and sorted. I like them and I use them for most all my customers because uh, it tells you right away, you know, are we getting a good heat response or are we not on this project? And so it just gives us one more assurance that, hey, uh, we're going to have a good successful program. So how it works, it's like a scratch-off lottery ticket. It's got this gray layer that uh, scratches off easily when, when the heifer's mounted and ridden. And so you can tell just at a glance, you know, is she cycling, is she not? Um, it's a, a product, like I said, it's easy to use, it's easy to put on. Um, the more scratched off it is, the more she's being ridden and the, the more in heat she is. So it, uh, like I say, at a, at a glance you can tell one way or the other. Are we looking at one that's in, are we looking at one that's not? And uh, it saves a lot of time and effort from a, a guy having to stand out there writing tag numbers all day to walking out in a pen and in 30 seconds I know that, hey, we're doing a good job, we got response. It's just a great product. It's easy to apply, inexpensive, but worth its weight in gold. From corrective mating to sire recommendations to AI and much, much more, Gen X professionals develop unique programs to best fit each specific beef operation. Stay tuned, there's more on our Gen X story when the American Rancher returns. So the cattle business is a wonderful business to be in. I mean, we're just very fortunate, but you know, besides trying to make the best cattle you can and, and making the genetics as good as you can, you know, one of the great things is you get to deal with people in my mind, I, and I really enjoy dealing with both new customers and current customers. And uh, 
you know, it's just great to be able to deal with them on a daily basis and, and find out how our genetics are working for them. And as long as the commercial ranchers are, are looking for DeBrucker Charlet genetics, we want to do what we can to supply them. Join DeBrucker Charlet Saturday, April 7th for their annual bull sale. On Saturday, March 17th, Wakaroo will host its 25th annual The Gathering when 55 shorthorn bulls and 30 fancy shorthorn base replacements females will be offered. Let the power of complete heterosis drive your profit by using shorthorn genetics from Wakaroo. All the bulls have been performance tested on the farm, including ultrasound data and genomically enhanced EPDs. Additionally, bulls will sell with the industry first dollar fescue index, helping identify cattle that are tolerant of endophyte infected fescue. Wakaroo is located in northwest Indiana and has been registering shorthorn cattle since 1902, collecting growth and carcass data since the 1960s, and is the leader of documented data-driven shorthorn genetics in North America today. Wakaroo is owned by multiple generations of the Jordan family, including Barry and Annetta, Mark and Heidi, and Toby and Jody Jordan. To learn more, visit wakaroo.net or email us to request your catalog. Welcome back to The American Rancher. Gen X continually strives to lead the way with science-based cattle genetics and innovative services that you can trust. With their hands-on approach, cattle producers across the country are putting their trust in the services Gen X provides. And here's why. My name is Dallas Lotzenheiser. This is my wife, Megan, and my mother, Renee. We're all part of Lotzenheiser Cattle Company here in Flagler, Colorado, where we have a, a commercial herd of Angus, Angus Cross cows that uh, we've been AI in here for a few years and starting to get pretty proud of what we're building up. In addition to everything that Dallas does here at the ranch as the ranch manager, we also have our own AI business where we can take what we've kind of learned and the experiences we've gained on our own cows and help other people kind of go along the same path, uh, whether that's you know, helping them with a sing protocol or bull selection, you know, it's really important to us that our customers are successful and part of that is we try to help them mirror things that we've done that have found make us successful and just been really fortunate to have uh, customers that like what we do for them and are willing to tell other people how we've helped them and it's really just grown out of uh, word of mouth. Whatever we can do to help them, that's, that's what we're here for variety of things we can do for people. We can be anything from a sounding board to bounce ideas off of, or we can do the, the whole kit caboodle where we walk in and synchronize everything and then breed everything. So the options are just about endless. We can do as much or as little as anybody requires of us. I'm Marion Brower, north of Flagler. My brother and I uh, farm together. Uh, just got back into cattle a couple, three years ago. Raised cattle when I was a kid with my dad. I'm also the fire chief of the local fire department, so having Megan in my cell phone in my back pocket helps a lot to keep the cows straight and on track. We had never AI'd before, and the full service is, is great. I really don't have to think about it. They, you know, keep me on schedule, and when we raised cattle before, we uh, just bought yearlings and fattened them up, so, you know, we had to change our corrals a little bit. The changes that they made definitely made the AI easier, but it was nothing like a major overhaul. I mean, we just needed an alleyway and a place to back up our breeding barn. And those two things pretty much were something they had on their vision anyway. So it all worked together. Dallas and I really pride ourselves in trying to keep an eye on new upcoming bulls and genetics that we really feel like are region specific. And Gen X makes that really easy for us because, you know, they, they are out there looking for the bulls that the cow sense in science, which in our world, where these cows are on short grass, they may be grazing some residue, whether that's milo or corn, you know, we, need, we have to find those cows that are going to be efficient and hardy, you know, good structure, good disposition, you know, we're going to know which ones fit his environment. He trusts us to make those decisions. He sees that in action and we're able to, to find cows that work for him. We're, we're really fortunate to have customers like Marion because they, they trust us. They trust our ability to match cows to them, match bulls to them, 
and you know I love getting snapchats for Marion with his cows and his calves or you know he posts Facebook videos of you know when things are calving and hey you know number 27 you know just calved or we're waiting on the last one and just staying involved through that whole process is part of the reason why Dallas and I don't really consider it's a it's not a job for us it's just we're really excited to see people excited about their cattle and the results that they're seeing. One of our one of the biggest goals that we have is um, we don't like to show up one day and just breed. We do a lot of pre-planning for each of our customers and then on the back side it's very important to us to see what happened. You know we're we're there to get your cows pregnant and so when you preg check we want to know how that goes and definitely following up with them and saying you know hey how'd we do what are you thinking and AI is not a silver bullet. It's, it's not going to change your life in one instance. It's a progression. It's a building project. It's every year we're going to have better and better females. Every year we're going to have access to bulls that we have more genetic information on. And every year we're going to be able to work out a protocol and match that to your facilities and your timeline. And that's really what we want. We, we, we want to build with the customer. We want to make sure that they're set up to be successful and just that that's where we where we see we us fitting is is helping. Dallas and Megan have a passion for the cattle industry and a passion for cattle and um, they love what they do and you can tell and they love to share with other people and they're progressive and they've done a lot, you know, for Greg and I just to encourage us and and uh, it's nice to have them around. My name is Douglas Cody Jolly. The ranch is known as RJ Jolly Cattle. Originally, you know, kind of had an idea about AI in 2014 when the cattle market was really good. Thought like everybody else, why not keep all my heifers back and breed them? And uh, so I thought if I was going to do it, I was going to do it right. So I decided to uh, AI for the first time on this place. Set up the sync protocol for them and then we talk about where do you need us? Where don't you need us? Where do you got it handled? And we have a really good relationship as far as figuring out, you know, what what schedules are going to work and how to mesh them together, and you know what everybody needs to to get their job done. And it's been really successful, I think. This year, out of 105 bred heifers, I had 70 70 on the ground in like 15 days. So I mean, you know, that's how you make a uniform set of calves. So I was going through Dad's files and I. Uh, He's been marketing on Superior Livestock since 1987 or 88, and uh, it, it's worked really well for us. Well, the buyer knowing the genetics and, and their potential and, and what bloodlines I'm using, you know, I, I think that's just as big a key as anything. Absolutely. We've been using Superior for several years now in a row, and uh, <clears throat> just the expanded audience that you're getting when you're marketing on that platform is just amazing. And it's, uh, it's a lot of fun when you see your calves come on that screen and you see the Gen X genetics ticker come on. Just kind of makes it all come together. Our generation, I guess you want to call it, you know, we're, we're really trying to, to find our place and in, in where we fit in the industry. And being able to help each other out and, and share experiences uh, is, I think it's invaluable. I mean, it's priceless. And we're all fortunate enough to have a generation before us that is affording us these opportunities. And... I think that AI and progressive uh, herd health and ha animal handling, those are, all, those are all things that are on the forefront of our brains and having a group of people that you can talk to about that and is, is just awesome for us. If people need help breeding their cows or if they're interested in semen, I mean, we, Eastern Colorado is our home and anything that we can do to help people in this area make their homes and their ranches more successful, we want to do that. You know, whether you just have a bull question, you know, give us a call, send us an email, send us a text. I mean, message us on Facebook. We're, we're trying to be as accessible as possible because we're, I mean, we're real people. It's Gen X and AI process. It's not a, it's not a myth or magical thing. It's, you know, it's just real people trying to help other people. Gen X is dedicated to providing customers with proven genetics and proven results through practices designed with the rancher in mind. Gen X works closely with their customers to determine the most profitable and productive program to fit their needs. To find out more about Gen X, contact them at 888-333-1783 
or visit them online at genxshootsideservice.com. That's all the time we have today. To find out more about us, visit our website, theamericanrancher.com, or connect with us on Facebook. We'd love to hear from you. I'm Pam Minnick for the entire American Rancher team. Thanks for joining us. We'll see you next time.